The life of Yang Yuhuan epitomizes the transformation of the Tang Dynasty from the era of prosperity into the era of weak. When Emperor Xuanzong of the Tang Dynasty created the prosperous era of Kaiyuan Tianbao, there was a famous beauty that could be used as a symbol of that era, and this beauty was Yang Yuhuan. Yang Yuhuan was the blossoming peony of the Tang Dynasty. Whenever Yang Yuhuan is being mentioned, all Chinese people's mind will immediately think of her natural beauty and graceful. She is as beautiful as flower, and she is also one of the four great beauties of the ancient China. She was also fully favored by the emperor of the Tang Dynasty. Yang Yuhuan was a person who was pushed by the fate. A person who didn't know her exact background, but suddenly chosen to be the consort of the prince of Shou. And then favored by that prince's father, the Emperor Xuanzong, which is the emperor of the Tang Dynasty at that time, and planned to become a noble consort, and then finally died a tragic death. Whether it was her rise to the top or her ultimate demise, at every major point in her life, she was pulled by various forces and had no power to make her own choices. In a variety of power competition and checks and balances, Yang Yuhuan's life is the life that always been determined by power. So why that person is Yang Yuhuan, but not other people, not other beauties? The answer is because Yang Yuhuan is literally so beautiful. It's because of her beauty. This beauty is rather the power that Yang Yuhuan can rely on throughout her life. Um, Yang Yuhuan, from a innocent girl to the highest ranking imperial concubine, which in the end, it was make her fate such a big change, and what created her legendary life. Yang Yuhuan was born in Sichuan from the Yang family. Although her ancestors were like very rich and prominent, but Yang Yuhuan's father's generation had fallen. Her father is only a small official, and when Yang Yuhuan was ten years old, both of her parents died. So her uncle Yang Xuanzheng adopted her. Yang Xuanzheng was a minor official in Luoyang, so Yang Yuhuan traveled from Sichuan to Luoyang, and it was in Luoyang that Yang Yuhuan's life took, took its first turn. At the end of the 23rd year of the regime, she married the prince of Shao, which is the son of the Emperor Xuanzong, and went from being the daughter of a 7th ranked official to being the consort of the prince of Shao. In this year, Yang Yuhuan was 17 years old, and she's at the same age with the prince of the Shao. So after um, the first time that Prince Shao met Yang Yuhuan, he cannot for he cannot forget about her, and then he just requests her father, the Emperor Xuanzong, to to let him marry Yuhuan to him. So and then the emperor think that Yang Yuhuan's pretty, and then she's also good at music, drawing, and all all those like um skills. She also know how to play pipa, singing, and dancing. So marrying a son of the royal family and leading to a happy and rich life would be a beautiful thing in the prince Shao's life. So, so he accepted. And then obviously the prince Shao is very happy because he already liked Yang Yuhuan for like several years and then finally request to his father and then his father accepted, so which is a good thing. But right after Yang Yuhuan's marriage, after seeing a person, or after meeting a person, her fate once again began to change, and even the fate of the whole country also began to change. That person was the empire who agreed to marry her to the Prince of Shao, her father-in-law, the Emperor Xuanzong. Emperor Xuanzong is the ruler of the Tang Dynasty. Okay, so first of all, before the marriage, the Emperor Xuanzong had never met Yang Yuhuan. He had only heard that she was very good, but when Emperor Xuanzong met her for the first time at the horse racing track, he was impressed by her youthful and brightness. Also impressed by her excellent horsemanship, and Yang Yuhuan had a mesmerizing youthful energy and flower-like face. She was smart but not superficial, and meltingly relaxing. All of this deeply impressed the Emperor Xuanzong, especially when the Xuanzong's favorite consort Wu Huifei had died. The old emperor is 
and the emotional whirl and lonely empty time. He thought of the daughter-in-law was beautiful as flowers. When this kind of thinking more become more and more heavily, Song cannot stop when he began to no longer care about the so-called ethics and morality, and also do not care about the feelings of his son. He wants to think of all the ways to let the beloved daughter-in-law to their own sides. The beauty of the flower printed in the eyes of the king's heart. Therefore, this emperor used his power to snatch Yang Yuhuan from his son. That year, the emperor didn't pamper any other concubines and put all his attention on Yang Yuhuan. And from then on, the kings di didn't have early morning court anymore. He wanted to enjoy and pamper this woman who loved so much. For a while, the Yang family also becomes rich and powerful due to emperor that emperor's favor on Yang Yuhuan. Emperor Shenzong completely lost the previous inspirational style of governance. Integrity of the Prime Minister Zhang Jiuling and other people have been his dismissal, and the villain Li Lingfu climbed to the throne. After Li Lingfu's death, Yang Guozhong learned the power, which made the politics even darker. The political chaos affected the economy of the country. The system of equalization of land was disintegrated during, the, during this period and the tax revenue was statistically reduced, but the spending of the imperial court gradually increased due to the extravagance of Emperor Xuanzong and Yang Yuhuan, and the state treasury was unable to make ends meet. On the way, in front of the Matwei slope, the generals were exhausted and emotional. At that time, General Chen Xuanli, Chen Xuanli smelled the danger. He called all the generals of the Forbidden Army and told them that the collapse of the world merchants was caused by Yang Guozhong, which instantly aroused the anger of the generals, who had long hated Yang Guozhong and long wanted to kill him. So finally they did. All those generals killed Yang Guozhong. When the Emperor Xuanzong heard about this news, he had to come outside the post and pacify the soldiers, saying that since Yang Guozhong conspired to rebel, it is good to kill him. Now you guys all return to the line. But the soldiers still did not move to stare at him, and Chen Xuanli said, the most loyal subjects conspired to rebel, and I think it was caused by Yang Yuhuan. And it is not appropriate for Yang Yuhuan to stay here by, by your side. And the person next to Chen Xuanli is Gao Li Shi, and then he said that even though Yang Yuhuan may maybe is not guilty, but she is still around you. Like he said to the emperor, but she is still around you. How can we think that you're safe if Yang Yuhuan is around you? This sentence suddenly just woke up the Emperor Zong. Emperor Xuanzong, he is a politician. He loved Yang Yuhuan, but how can he not love the people in his country? How can he not love the like the mountains, the rivers, and the Tang Dynasty in his country? So, how could he not love his own life? Then he loved the beauty. Just see, then Emperor Xuanzong waved his sword and stabbed towards Yang Yuhuan. Yang Yuhuan herself is powerless. She knows that she cannot do anything. So in Tang Xuanzong, so when the Tang Xuanzong swapped his sword to her, she can remain calm and relaxed. She can carry with that love and calmly accept the death. Her love may be for her family and country or just for the Emperor Xuanzong or perhaps for herself. So far, for a long period of time, people think that that the decline of the Tang Dynasty was caused by the fact that Yang Yuan was too beautiful for the emperor to deal with the political events. And the opposite viewpoint is that Yang Yuan was a person with no political mind and she should not bear the political responsibility. So in fact, I do agree with the view that Yang Yuan was not the key of the, the decline of the Tang Dynasty because she is not a political protagonist, not a flute policy made by her. She does not have the power to talk about the main responsibility. She was certainly not a scourge, but she was not virtuous concubine either. 
since fate let her become a concubine into the royal family, so she is bound to shoulder political responsibility. In the Chinese history, whether it is a concubine or an empress, it does not only mean a companion, like it does not only mean the emperor's spouse, it must also mean a political responsibility reminding the emperor to do the good things. But unfortunately, there are no examples of Yang Yuhuan advertising Emperor Xuanzong to be the diligent in politics. Therefore, she was responsible for Emperor Xuanzong's increasing indulgence in court, in court pleasures in his later years. She is also invariably become Yang Guozhong's umbrella. She is a tragic figure. She has no political ambitions, just loved to enjoy the life of a simple woman, could have lived a peaceful life. But the fate was not by her own grasp. Whether she was a princess or a scapegoat, it was not her own choice. She has a dazzling beauty, lived for the world to imagine the legend, but also cannot control their own destiny. When Yang Yuhuan first entered the palace, her tenderness soothed the Emperor Xuanzong, who had the greatest power in the world but still always woke up in the middle of the night. And whether out of her own consciousness or under the effect of the help around her, wouldn't she also possess a great deal of power in fact? Her, she herself became the one who couldn't sleep at night. Well, power is not a cold thing. Power with its real power to give people comfort, but it's also due to let a person in the inability to pull off the loss, restlessness, and loneliness. Our next video will also be about Yang Yuhuan, because there's also there's another legend said that she did not die. It is said that the Emperor Shenzong was soft-hearted and did not really stab her with his sword. He led her to escape, so Yang Yuhuan went east to Japan. And today there's a Yang Yuhuan Cannon Hall in Tokyo, and also Yang Yuhuan's tomb in, I believe, Ni Sunji Temple. Yeah, I think that's the name. So this topic will leave until the next video and please follow my channel and like this video. Thank you. See you next time. Bye.